This is the order. Welcome back to the order. And yes, we are going to go into another video on it said the American Revolution. And yes, for this uh, American Revolution month, we are actually going to be talking about the Turtle Submarine. Now, many people don't actually understand the history of the Turtle Submarine, but the Turtle Submarine is probably one of actually the first submergible type, well, uh, underwater vehicles that were ever used for warfare, and of which it was designed by the United States military. Now, during the early colonial period, America didn't actually have, uh, well, any type of military vessel to go up against the Great British military. So, they had to think outside the box. And that is actually where they actually came across a, well, new design. Especially created by none other than David Bushnell, who of which created the said turtle in order to destroy the British military. The turtle actually measures up to 2 meters in length. Now, this design of a uh, vessel was actually manufactured to, well, attach a bomb to the said, uh, un underneath the said, well, <laughs> a naval blockade. Which, it was a brilliant idea, yes, but the problem is, is how they plan to do it. Now, one major thing is the fact that the turtle only had 25 to 30 minutes of air, which, that is not that much time given into the general... Uh, type form, so it mostly had to be towed into place in the middle of the night. In fact, it was actually stated that this uh, was actually piloted by none other than Ezra Lee, and this was only used once. Now, it was made in 1775 with pretty much a great oak, I believe it was, and hollowed out in the center, then actually tarred and such, so that way no water can get in. The design was impressive, and as well, the idea was impressive. Problem is, is how it was to work. One major way we can understand is that when it came to the time and period on September 6th of 1776 in New York Harbor at 11 p.m., the attack failed. Major reasons for this is because the HMS Vulture that which the turtle was meant to hit, well, hell, it had copper sheeting underneath the ship. Now, many of you might wonder, Templar, why would a ship need copper sheeting? Kind of obvious, you don't want to run your ship aground and end up damaging the wood. So, they had to pretty much invent that type of design. And mostly, only military ships were known to have it. Problem is, the United States at the time couldn't exactly get this one through. And the major problem with this design is the fact that, one, this was before battery operation power, meaning that... 30 minute, 30 to 25 minutes of air you got, you pretty much only got around 15 minutes of air due to the fact of you having to operate everything, the propeller and as well the drill system. And of which, the only way to get back to air is if you had to go up. And that is where the major problem was. However, it is stated that the bomb did go off. It stated that in order to evade arrest from the British military, Ezra Lee actually released the bomb prematurely and without attaching it. It didn't destroy the vulture, but it did scare the living crap out of every last seaman in the entire nautical area. And in doing so, it's actually stated that the British actually later fled. So, you got to imagine of how innovative this design was. Now I hear many of you already. Templar... Why wasn't the turtle probably the best option? Well, kind of obvious. The turtle had major drawbacks. And though this was technically the first submergible type of vessel, the problem is, it's not so easy to hit your target, especially underneath the water, in the middle of the night. In fact, the original plan was to actually do it during the day, but it was actually stated that a night attack might be the best option. Now, it's even been seen in the show Liberty's Kids, which I, oh, this is the first time I ever saw it, and this is way back in the early 2000s. So, yeah. And this show got at least a lot of historical accuracies right with it. So, at least they did something right with this show. And the major thing I also have to put this out here is, even though the idea failed, Ezra Lee did do his job at destroying the British blockade at New York Harbor. So... The turtle was, impressively, a great design, but not the best for, well, mechanics. Now, it was best... No, here's the thing. 
It could have been a best mechanics for modern day military use. The problem is, I don't see it probably working out in the modern day as well, due to the fact, uh, even if you could have attached a bomb, you needed to actually have, well, mechanical machinery. And the fact is, even if one operates every form of these said gadgets, here's the problem. If you even actually think about it, you're going to be in total darkness, and it's kind of hard in the first place to even operate the machinery. In fact, the machinery was so diverse. For one, to operate the propeller, you had to operate it with your hand. In other words, it's like a hand crank design with a drill. So in doing so, you're technically twisting the said, uh, well, uh, propeller to push you forward. However, that's the major point to it. The propeller should have been in the rear, not in the front. Now, then there was also the fact on how to steer the ship, and, or a summary, and that was with the said pedals. The pedals was meant to go left or right with each press. So if I was going to go left, I would press the left pedal to actually go to the left. This was an impressive design, it, don't get me wrong. But the problem is, was the fact of lack of air. Now, many of you might say, oh, Templar, there's no problem with it. Here's the thing, with that lack of air, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get your job done. And the fact is, he's going to be operating the hand crank, and as well has limited amount of air supply. So he only has like 15 minutes compared to the 25 to 30 minutes. So, just think about that. You're pedaling out in the middle of the dark, you can't see a damn thing, and guess what, you're going to in the process so uh, need to actually come up for air. Which was stated to have happened only once until he dived later down, and ended up releasing the bomb. However, the bomb was never actually attached to the said vulture, so we can understand why. Now, though, that's the major problem also. The two type of, uh, type of hand crank systems was with the propeller and with the said drill. So, just imagine how hard this was. You had to try and navigate your way underneath the said uh, ship. So, that's not going to be the easiest thing to do, and due to the fact that that copper sheeting get in the way, it probably is what stopped the said ship from ever being well destroyed. So, in truth, the turtle was a good design, except for the fact that modern inventions of the time kept it from being destroyed. So, still, we gotta understand though that the turtle was an impressive design, but it was also not an impressive design. Now, I've actually seen many people on, uh, many people around the YouTube community try and recreate these said turtles and such, which is a good design. However, we have to understand we don't want to be inside this thing for one major reason. The bomb system attachment was actually attached to the said strand. It's almost kind of like how the HMS Huntley was made. I don't know what, a, know what the HMS Huntley was. It was a Confederate-style submarine that was the first successful submarine launch ever in history. And this was used by the South to destroy the Union blockade, and there was more than a one of them. And instead of doing the whole drill system, the South designed it for a ramming system to penetrate through, not copper, but iron-style type of, well, <laughs> uh, sheeting underneath this head ship. So... Just imagine what might happen if, technically, this design was used more rather than the turtle design. So, you can understand of how impressive this was even still to this day. So, entirely, we have to understand that the turtle was an impressive design even still. But, the creator, David Bushnell, should have actually, well, thought this one through entirely before he started to use it. Now, even though the plans were entirely given to George Washington, and such, it was a great design, he stated, but there were major flaws to this design entirely. So, yeah, there were so many design flaws. But still, though, you can understand that this was kind of the best option they had, rather than losing their entire fleet. So, yeah, America kind of thought this one up, but it may have been the first submarine, but it was not the best. But anyways, guys, if any of y'all have any inventions of the American Revolution that I should cover, please let me know that in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get to it. Anyways, guys, also have a happy 4th of July, and ch click on that bell button, and also click and subscribe, and as well, also check us out on Facebook, so that way we can stay tuned for more. Anyways, guys, it's been Templar. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.